morning, Sunshine. Good morning. What's going on? Just got off the phone with Molly. What'd you say? Yeah, I'll worry about that later. I need to talk to you. Okay. About what? Uh, about Carly. Shoot. Is everything okay with you guys? Well, I'm still staying here instead of live with her, so no. Everything's not okay. Why? I never told you about what happened in France. All I know is he flew over there to help Lily. Right. And when I got back, Molly, she was really upset. She called off the wedding. But I have to tell you, I do not regret taking off like I did. You don't? No, because when I got there, Lily was not alone. Craig was there with her. The hell was Craig doing there? What does he have to do with Lily and Carly's company? When I asked both of them, I couldn't get a straight answer. All Craig said was that he was there because he heard that the business was in trouble and he was helping out. You believe him? Do you? You think he's involved with Lily and Carly's company somehow? Maybe. How? Do Lily? Or Carly? Thanks for telling me. Jack, this whole thing ruined my relationship with Molly. Don't let that happen with you and Carly. So what I'm talking about is a whole new line of credit. I'd like to pay off Mr. Blackthorne and be in the clear from that. Well, what kind of collateral can you offer our bank? I'm sure we can work out something that'll be amenable to everyone. Mr. Montgomery, if you don't have the collateral, we can't really Look, go on... All we have to do is crunch the numbers and see where we're at. What's going on, Craig? I'm in the middle of a meeting, Jack. Yeah, let me guess. Banker? Well, it's very astute. And you are? Someone who knows that Craig is having some financial troubles. Uh, Mr. Madison, would you excuse me just for a moment? What, did I Jack. say something wrong? What the hell are you doing? I'm asking the questions right now, not you. Why are you meeting with bankers? I'm dealing with a few issues. It's nothing I can't resolve. Last it's any time of your business. you resolved some financial issues, you blew through my son's trust fund. So whose money are you making disappear this time? Carly's? You must hate me. No. But you're not my cousin's favorite person. Come on. How is Molly? Her fiancé took off to be with you the night before her wedding. How do you think she is? He wasn't trying to be with me. No, whatever he was doing. Molly was all dressed up with nobody to marry. Ugh, I feel terrible about that. I know. I know, I'm sure you do. And I don't want this to change things between us. Oh, look, Lily, you don't have to worry about that. I know you weren't trying to hurt Molly. And besides, she's the one who called off the wedding. If she doesn't love Holden enough to stick around and fight for him, then maybe it's better for everybody, huh? So how is France? What, what do you mean, better? Well, with Molly gone, it leaves the door open for you and Holden to get back together, doesn't it? And I can tell you, you'd be a lot better off with him than you would be with Craig, so... Who said anything about me getting back together with Holden? Uh, nobody. But and I'm only no gone now. I just be cutting Craig out of my life. I mean, Craig has been great to me. If he hadn't showed up in France, I don't know what I would have. Wait. What was Craig doing in France? He was there, uh, being a friend. Lily, what have you told Craig about our business? What does Craig have to do with Carlisle fragrances? I think you better sit down. Oh, no, no, no. I take bad news much better standing up, especially when I think I'm about to hear how much my business partner's been lying to me. You're right. I can't keep hiding things from you anymore, and, and there's no point anyway. You've been working with Craig behind my back? Yes. But there's something more important that I need more to tell you. More important than that? It's how could anything be more... perfume factory? What about it? Carly, when I got there... When you, you got there, the factory what? Wasn't there. It's, it's there. We've seen pictures of it. No, I, I... They must have been fakes. That's ridiculous. This Francoise is a reputable businesswoman. Francoise is a fraud. So there's no factory. And there's no business. And there's nothing. And I feel horrible about this. And what was Craig doing in France? Is he responsible for this? No, he is as much a victim as we are. How? <laughs> he didn't lose anything. That's what I've been keeping a secret. He's been a silent partner in Carlisle. Since when? 
practically the beginning. All that money that we needed. He has been secretly backing our investment. Oh, my God. And, and, and when Francoise kept hiking up the price, Craig was the one that put his own money to back us. And, and now that it's turned out to be a scam, he's the one that got burned. So... If you want to be angry at somebody, don't be angry at him. Be angry at me. Oh, I am. I am. You're supposed to be my partner. You're supposed to be my friend. And you involve Craig in my business knowing the things that he's done to me. You're damn right I'm angry at you. Mr. Madison, would you mind if we postpone this until another time? If there's anything more I should know, I'll I be should... completely forthcoming with you, I assure you. But until then, thank you very much for coming down. We weren't done. Unless and until you have an arrest warrant, I don't have time for your questions. Okay, I'll just keep an eye out for whenever you're looking to have a financial meeting and jump right in. Ask quickly. How did you just happen to end up in France with Lily? She's my friend. So wherever she goes, you go. She was worried about some business dealings. I was there to consult. For okay. Carlisle, a company in which Carly is half owner. You interrupted my meeting because you're jealous. Does Carly know that you're consulting for her company? Are you ever going to get it through your head that you're not married to Carly Carly anymore? and I are still very much involved. <laughs> From afar? Plus, I'm a cop. Well, unless you're arresting me for something, I really don't have time for this. I'm investigating suspicious behavior. Well, if I'm suspected of international travel, I'll save you time. I'm guilty. Are you a partner in Worldwide? I have a stake in Worldwide. Is that a crime? Well, when you're involved, yeah. you never know. Which brings me back to you and Lily in France. What was going on there? I told you. Yes, I was... you were a consultant. Right. Which begs the question. You see, Lily and Carly had a great thing going with this company, and then you got yourself involved. And suddenly, they started having trouble. So it seems to me that maybe you're the one who was causing that trouble, Craig. Right? Go to hell. Craig anywhere near this, that I could never trust him again. I felt like I owed him something. You kept a secret from him, Lily. One lousy secret. I kept his son from him. Imagine how that felt. Gabriel is a grown man. I have a son, too. Craig stole millions of dollars from my son. Does that not matter? I'm sorry. Craig said that he wanted to do something nice for you to make amends for the mess he made at Monte Carlo. And you believe that? He's the one that lost money. What agenda could he possibly have? I don't know. What I do know is that Jack is going to think that I got involved with Craig intentionally after I promised him that I would never do that, and he's going to think that I lied to him. No, no. You had nothing to do with this. I will explain to Jack. <laughs> he will think that I sent you to tell him so. No. This has nothing to do with you or Jack or even Craig. We were swindled, that's all. Are you sure? Do you know who set us up? Francoise, of course. Carly, I know you have reasons to mistrust Craig, but I am positive he was not behind this scam. Well, then get ready to take another huge hit, Lily, because Craig will take you out when you least expect it. I'm the one that let you down, not him. I had no idea this would affect you and Jack. If I had, what can I do? Nothing. Don't do anything. Just give me a chance to figure out what's going on. Nothing's going on. There's no plot here. Let me handle it. <laughs>